Almost, I heard four tenths. Well, we're creeping up on it a bit. We'll get it, you'll get it in the morning. This week has been just getting there a little bit too low and then a little bit too high. Oh, it'll be there in the morning. Yeah. Obviously, we're uh, making good use of our turbo here. Got in fourth gear and it wouldn't rev any higher. I mean, I tried letting off the throttle, getting back onto it. But 7,000 RPM fourth is about the fast it was wanting to go. Four gear, we're only asking for 20. And then to see, we go back over to the graph and four. So you see in four gear, you see the map, it comes in at 20, 21, and starts falling off. You know, the density out still here is, is really high. So at, at the same rate, we were. You know, being really conservative on the boost because we want to make sure everything's working, we're shaking it down. So now I'm just going to go back to what we know already works. Getting off the line, it takes an awfully long time to get on boost. Uh, it's a very tall first gear, and we need to get it to around 74, 7500 RPM for the turbo to start spooling at this altitude. It'd be a lot better in the morning when it's cold at a lower altitude, but our density to altitude is just a shade under 8,000 feet, so there's less air for the less mass of air to going through the intake system for the turbo to spool. Um, but um, it was a great run, the car was straight, a uh, little bit squirrely in the middle, the middle of the course is a little bit rough, but this car has done a large number of runs and it's great to be in a car which has tried and true, very straight, has run a lot faster than this before, the fastest this car has run about 300, uh, 340 plus mile an hour and we just got a couple of tenths of mile an hour under the record that we were looking for. So, cool morning air, um, tighten up these oil lines so we don't, uh, don't risk an oil fire and uh, try again tomorrow morning.